before we start this guys. Go and cup yourself when you're take the first bite. Shirts or a nice one. What I have not had in a while guys, Popeye's chicken. So I got onion rings. I think it was the A&W one when I said who has the best onion rings and you guys mentioned Burger King and Popeye's. I never knew Popeye's had onion rings. We got their Popeye's chicken. I got the three piece and that beautiful crumbly biscuit. This one looks like the last bit of it when they're trying to roll it out. And all you're trying to do is form it together but in the end it doesn't come out right. This is the biscuit I got. <laughs> Let's start off with their wing guys. They're spicy Popeye's crispy wing. Let me break it first. Don't worry guys, I got a lot of tissue paper or towels around the car here so when it breaks and spills everywhere, the paper got it. Oh, take a bite of that. I just ripped that off. You guys got it. Nice. Mmm. That's good chicken. Here it is guys. Take a bite of that. Check out that wing. You guys got it. That's not even a wing guys. That's like wing and breast meat together. You guys got it. Quick time. Nice. Mmm. Let's pray that my face doesn't break out tomorrow. I love fried chicken. Who doesn't like fried chicken in the morning? You're crazy. You're crazy for not liking fried chicken in the morning. Look at that breast meat. You get a little tender in the middle too. Pop that in your mouth. Yeah, it's got it. Nice. Mmm. Popeyes, you make good chicken. We're not gonna get into who makes the best chicken kits to your Popeyes. I like it both. Mmm. The last location I went to, I couldn't really taste the spice on it, but this location, I can. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, and again, clean off your bones. To drink, guys, ginger ale. It's got it. Nice. Ah, I got some hot sauce here. And drills a little on top, guys. Just a tad. Mm. Guys, take a bite of that. Quick time. You guys got it. Nice. Mm -hmm. Wow. So salty and good. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Don't throw this part out. Mmm. Wow, that's bombs. They're onion rings. Let's see if these onion rings beat a and W onion rings. Take the first bite of this. You guys got it. Nice. I'm pumped. Mmm. Wow. Do they beat A and W onion rings? 
I will say no. Just because A&W Onion Rings, I think they have a breadcrumb coating on it, which I really love. And this one, just a flour coating. They're beat up biscuits. Take the first bite of this. Yeah, it's got it. Nice. Mmm. Still very buttery. And tasty. Wow. I wonder how much butter they put in this. Mm -hmm. So buttery and good. Take a bite of this, guys. They're beautiful drumstick. Yeah, it's got it. Nice. Mmm. Wow. You gotta just go to Popeyes to get their chicken and biscuit. Don't go for their seafood. Their chicken and biscuit is just top notch. Mmm. Wow. last piece they hooked it up with the neck right here if you guys see it this is attached with the neck or is that the chicken ass <laughs> we'll see I think it's the neck though mm hmm I think it's the no I think it's the chicken ass we'll see after this look at that guys Look how juicy that is. Mmm. Very nice seasoning on there. Wow. I want some hot sauce on that. Chicken is such an amazing thing. You can do so much with chicken. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's beautiful, crispy skin, guys. Mmm. I believe this is the neck, but maybe the ass. If it's the ass, I'll be so pumped. Mm. a part of the ass but I didn't get the ass wow wow 
so tasty. Hmm. Guys, last bit here. I'm just going to leave for next day just because I felt like three of those fried chicken was enough grease for today. 10 to 15 questions only because I don't want this running too long. First question, Ken Dogs, awesome Quan. Thank you, my brother. Uh, my question is, why do you love chicken ass so much? I never even seen someone be so passionate about chicken ass from Burmant Nat. Well, I love chicken in general, but I love the meat around the bone rather than on the bone. The meat is more sweeter around the bone, rather out of the boat, if that makes sense. Do you have any plans to visit Malaysia and have you tried Malaysian food except nasi lemak from Iyak Zaman? Nasi lemak is the first Malaysian meal I ever made and ever tasted and it was from me creating it. One day I would love to travel to Malaysia just because I know Malaysia is filled with cultures and food down there. Can you go over the story as to why you suck on your food when you're biting into it from Damon Javan G DJ? Why do I suck on my food? I don't even know why I suck on my food. I'll say this, when I eat, I'm not aware of anything around me. I'm taking trips to Flavortown, guys. <laughs> my question, will you ever accept my challenge from Marky Padu? What's your challenge? <laughs> challenge accepted! <laughs> Congratulations, 100K. Also, what are some of your passions outside of cooking from Alanitacida? I think the only passion I have is within food and just working out. What's the secret to slurping? Your method, your, you mentioned it in your video and I still haven't found out what the benefits are from DV Kev. Uh, the benefits of slurping. Um, search of coffee drinker, pro coffee drinker or professional coffee drinker. They will explain the thing behind slurping. I'll say that slurping for me, I don't know what's going on. This is all new to me. <laughs> First time I ever ate on YouTube guys, I was quite shy. But then when I loosened up, I just started eating how I like to eat. The way I like to eat is by just, I guess, slurping and all. But when I'm eating around friends or family, they don't really mention nothing. I think the only time my friends would mention something was for me to slow down. And that was the only thing. Next question, where do you learn to cook from Mr. Bake? I think I mentioned this before. Back in the day, I used to work under great chefs that taught me. Not only great chefs that taught me, but the people, the cooks around, working under great chefs. When I say people working around great chefs, was pretty much my colleagues. Colleagues from all over the world. Places I used to work at, they used to make dinner before a dinner rush or make dinner after a dinner rush. That was pretty awesome that everyone had a bit to share of their culture to everybody. Hey, Kwan Kuretz, my question is, can you do seven course beef? From Jamson, yes, I would love to one day. When are you going to do another 20K challenge? When was the first time you fell in love with chicken ass from Please Believe Bit? <laughs> I think I want to do another eating challenge after these questions. Um, when was the first time you fell in love with chicken ass? When I was an infant. <laughs> Slurping is great, man. Teach me your ways, old great one from Hexen Henry. Trin. I say this guys, eat at your own speed, eat how you like to eat. Life is more beautiful that way. Will you ever come to New York and vlog would be amazing. Congrats on 100k from Escobar. I would love to visit New York one day. When are you going to feature your friends and family in your videos again? Uh, are they still are they still you comfortable being in your videos from Kyle Ichi? Yes, um, the thing about putting my friends and family into the videos is because uh, they don't feel comfortable with it. Do you live alone from John Cortez 94? No, I live with my folks at this moment and I will be, no, I, I, I don't even know. I'm not even, I'm not even in a rush. I'm not even in a rush to move out. I'll say this, Asian parents will beg you to stay at their place because they want you to save money. They don't want you to waste money on a house when there's already a house. Will I be considering moving out maybe in the future? Yes, for sure. Have you ever tried any Hong Kong style food from Kelvin IKC? I have not tried authentic Hong Kong style food, but I have tried Chinese food. I'm not too sure the difference between Chinese food and Hong Kong's food, but you guys gotta you guys gotta help me on that. Please do put down what Hong Kong food is compared to Chinese food. Have you seen Daily First Bite account on Instagram? What do you think about that? Yes, I seen. Guys, check out Daily First Bite account on Instagram. They have a group of friends on there who does clips and you guys can send in your clip of Daily First Bites. Next question, who's your favorite celebrity chef from Zur Riffin? My favorite celebrity chef will be it's not Chef Ramsay. For sure, that's not Chef Ramsay. I grew up watching this guy. His name is Chef Michael Scott or Chef Michael Smith. I think either or two, but it's Chef at Home. Google him or YouTube him. I watch him every morning and I love his passion. I remember back in the day just waking up in the morning and just watching him cook. The thing that always caught me was him in the beginning 
I don't know, I just find his intro of his show so relaxing. There's one part where he says something about cooking, but cooking without recipe, which just touched me. Chef Michael Smith, if you're watching this, I would love to cook along beside you one day. And he's also Canadian, guys, from Prince Edward Island. I would love to visit that city one day. Brother, congrats on 100K. My question is, are you doing full-time YouTube time now from Tramman7? I'll say, give it time, guys. I will get there. Uh, do you want to open your own restaurant? If so, what would the name of it be from just the kid from Philly? Uh, what would it be? I don't know. You guys have a lot of good suggestions, so when I do open, I will ask for a suggestion <laughs> for you guys. Um, awesome. Congrats on your 100K from Gorgeous Chica. Oh, Clara. What's up, Clara? Thank you so much, Clara. What are your goals and aspirations from Red Han to always be improving in whatever I do? Are you straight or gay from Lee Maron1323? I am straight. <laughs> if you were born a female, would you still become the awesome individual and cook that you are? From Andrew Frank Nick. If I was a female, yes, I'll still be cooking. <laughs> That's it. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your Take the First Bite shirts or next one like this. Share this. Peace out.